Greetings to you all. Welcome to Peter Kobe and the New Nigerian series. I am Kilian Antrot, the founder of Changing the Nigerian Narrative. Changing the Nigerian Narrative is a movement that aims to propel national development and prosperity through creativity and innovation. As far as this 2023 forthcoming general elections is concerned, we are going to be presenting a series of educative content on elections to properly guide Nigerians toward supporting and choosing competent leaders that will change the current devastating situation in our country. We saw the need for this because 2023 is a critical moment in our history that we must be conscious of. In moving into the future, it is imperative to first of all understand the underlying problems of the past and identify how those problems can be addressed going forward. Thus, this episode would be about our unfortunate past and the root causes. We have actually identified that the three fundamental problems of Nigeria are religion and ethnic differences, poor leadership, and ignorance about wealth creation and management of resources. Stay tuned and enjoy today's episode. As far as the 2023 general election is concerned, Peter Obi is the only bridge between Nigeria's unfortunate past and bright future. If we miss this opportunity, we are likely going to prolong our suffering it is no longer news that since the return of democracy in 1999, little or nothing has changed about our beloved country. The same cycle of self-centered political leaders hijacked our country, kept citizens in poverty, divided and caused hatred amongst us, and left us trembling in fear of hunger and insecurity. Division along religious and ethnic lines for how long are we going to allow them to keep using religion, ethnicity, party, and zoning to divide and rule us? In the real world of politics, the game is always political elite against the masses. Self-centered leaders do not recognize these differences because they have a common goal of looting resources meant for the development of the country. They only use religion, ethnicity, party and zoning as tools and nothing more. As far as verifiable records are concerned, since 1960, no particular religion, ethnic group, party or zone has developed in terms of improving the lives of its masses and developing its territories into an advanced state that meets up with the global ranking. All masses and their locations throughout the country are going through the same suffering regardless of religion, ethnic group, zone, state, or gender. Who then has been benefiting from our commonwealth since 1960? I believe you can now decipher the answer. We need to rise up in unity and love to change the narrative because we are all one regardless of our differences. Poor Leadership Self-centered political leaders squandered our commonwealth, borrowed loans from foreign countries, looted the loans, and took it back to or invested in other foreign countries to the detriment of our beloved future. Our creative youth and entrepreneurs who are ready to achieve a breakthrough for the country through creativity, innovation, and business activities are denied the opportunity with a lack of enabling environment funding and patronage by successive administrations. These are nothing more than uncivilized acts of circumlocution caused by ignorance. Of course, the outcome manifested in countless creative and innovative Nigerian youth being indirectly forced to flee to other foreign countries in search of greener pastures, while those that couldn't find a way out became prey to criminality and violence just to survive. How did we get here when we have all it takes to create a better Nigeria? Ignorance of wealth 
creation and management of resources. Since the First Republic, the era of selfless and genuine heroes with knowledge of wealth creation such as Sir Abu Bakr Tafa Balewa, Dr. Nnamdi Azikiwe, Sir Amadou Bello, and Obafemi Awolowo, among others, narrative of Nigeria began to dwindle with successive administrations performing poorer than their predecessors. It has only been the same game plan and excuses with little or no positive results. The simple reason for our leaders' poor performance is their self-centeredness caused by ignorance, that is, lack of requisite knowledge of financial literacy, the science of wealth creation and management of resources. Most of them don't know how to create and manage wealth. They only know how to loot and squander the little one generated with the sweat and blood of the masses through taxes. If only they knew there is another way out that will serve as a win-win for all of us, perhaps they might have acted differently. This is the same reason why Peter Obi does not insult or attack the personality of his opponents. He still refers to some of them as his friends and focuses his campaigns on the issues to make them understand where the problem is coming from and how he intends to address it. Moreover, if we must tell ourselves the honest truth, we, the masses, equally played roles alongside our self-centered leaders to reduce this great country to what it is today. Now is the time for us to wake up. I therefore urge all Nigerians to please keep aside our differences and sentiments Stop the blame game and objectively analyze Peter Obi's intention for Nigeria. Peter Obi understands exactly the ideal problem of Nigeria and he has all it takes together with our collective support to start changing the narrative. For any country to develop, there must be a synergy amongst these three great pillars of wealth creation, business sector, banking system, and political structure. Peter Obi has served and achieved tremendous success in all of these three critical areas. Thus, he has all it takes and he understands how to strike a balance amongst the three periods of wealth creation in order to propel national development and prosperity in Nigeria. All we need to do as Nigerians is to please change our mindsets start believing in this change, give him the benefit of doubt, trust his intention and collectively support him towards building this new country. Let's all rise up and change the narrative by making a difference that matters. Thank you for watching this episode. See you in our next episode which is about the vision and future of Nigeria. Thank you. Don't forget to share this video so that other Nigerians can equally have an opportunity to watch it and educate themselves about the forthcoming 2023 general elections. Thank you.